Today's topic, Emirates salary and accommodation. Hi, Orlando from Wishcasting. We'll be touching the following topics, Emirates cabin crew salary, travel allowances, and Emirates accommodation. We're not paid for these videos, so subscribing and liking helps us a lot. Salary is made of basic salary plus flying pay. The basic is 1,160 US dollars, and the flying pay is $16.67 per hour. You can fly between 80 and 100 hours, so average of 90 hours makes it 1,500 US dollars. You can fly up to 120 hours per month sometimes, so expect a higher salary. So your total salary should be around 2,660 US dollars. That's average income for an economy cabin crew member per month. As you progress in your career, your basic salary increases and so does your hourly pay. You start in economy with the lowest pay and as you get promoted to business class, first class, supervisor and then purser, your salary goes up. Tendentially, at the peak of your career, you'll end up earning around $5,000 per month as a purser. On top of that, Emirates Cabin Crew receive allowances and local currency on every layover, disbursed at the hotel to cover the price for meals for a 24-hour stay in that hotel. Emirates Cabin Crew can get up to 6 layovers or more per month depending on your roster. If for example your allowance is $80 and you get 6 layovers, 6 times 80 is 480 US dollars per month on top of your salary we spoke about before. Here's some examples of layover money. New York, 120 US dollars. Orlando, 134 US dollars. Los Angeles, 162 US dollars. Dublin, 53 euros. Amsterdam, 76 euros. Milan, 93 euros. Dusseldorf, 82 euros and 50. Manchester, 44 pounds. So on, so on, so on. Now let's talk about accommodation. You can choose to live in Emirates provided accommodation or to live out. If you choose to live in an Emirates provided accommodation, rent and utilities are free. Telephone bills and internet, not. You'll share the flat with either two or three flatmates where everyone has its own room. You share the kitchen and the living room. After six months of probation, you may relocate to another Emirates accommodation if there is availability. Visitors may come to your flat but must leave before 1 a.m. Exceptions are made to allowed visitors. For this, you need to fill forms, get your neighbor's signatures, and send everything to Emirates for their approval. Two family members can visit at the same time, stay twice a year for a maximum of 30 days. Other Emirates cabin crew may visit your flat and stay indefinitely, no approval is required. There are good and bad things when living in an Emirates accommodation. The good is that it's safe, there is a lot of security staff guarding your premises. There aren't any utility bills nor maintenance fees, transportation is included. It's all kept clean by cleaners, and it's a great opportunity for socializing and partying. The bad things are that there is no privacy. Every visitor must log in their name, last name, time in and time out of the visit, phone number. It makes you feel like you've never left your work environment. Being mostly young people, 20 to 30 years old, it can get loud and noisy because of the amount of parties. You'll constantly hear high heels and suitcases in the hall for every other cabin crew going or returning from work. All in all, we could do this comparison. Emirates accommodation is like going to a university campus. Living out accommodation is like living like an adult. Transportation is provided to you by Emirates from your accommodation to work and back. You may use this network to get to all the Emirates accommodations scattered in Dubai to avoid taking a taxi. Of course, people going to work have priority over you since they have to work. But regularly, you shouldn't have any problems getting on. For a certain amount of time, Emirates suspended this perk, not allowing any crew members with casual clothes to get on the bus, leaving its employees with the only option of taking a $50 round-trip taxi ride to the city center. After complaints on top of complaints, Emirates listened to the crew's requests and put this perk back in place. Here's a small side note. Emirates constantly tries removing benefits to its employees, if no one fights back, the benefits are permanently lost and Emirates gets away with it. It's important to understand that the Emirates employees form a big community and as such they must fight to make things right. Dubai doesn't allow unions so nobody will fight on your behalf. Fight for your rights and make sure those benefits stay in place. We'll cover a whole episode on this topic, there's so much to talk about. Let's get back to accommodation now. 
If you choose to live out and use your own transportation, you receive around $13,600 US dollars per year to cover your flat and your travel expenses. If you rent a flat near the desert and share it with someone, you'll save most of that money. It'll all depend on you. If you want to carry out a rich lifestyle, then you're going to be living in the city center. The apartment's going to be more expensive and you won't save anything. Living out accommodation has its own pros and cons. The pros are that you have your own privacy. There is no crew around. It's relaxing. There are no visitor restrictions and you can save money. The cons are that you have to pay bills and do your own maintenance. Marriage is required to live out, so you'll have to hand over a certificate to Emirates in order for them to give you the live out allowance. And there is no direct bus to work, so you'll probably end up buying a car. On our next video, we'll cover the thousands of benefits each Emirates cabin crew gets. Subscribe if you want more stuff like this. We do travel guides too. Feel free to take a look at our popular low cost travel guides up here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. Our challenge is to make videos every week. The topics we cover are things we're experts on. Hopefully, that'll get us some more visibility. As always, it is my pleasure to do videos. Hope you liked it. Keep it rolling, guys. Bye.